Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another full face of new products. Again, the way I like to do these, some of them are new to the market. Some of them are just new to me. I think I've got enough for a full face, but I do know that I've got several items like I've got a couple of blushes to pick from, a couple of bronzers, that type of thing. But I've got the majority of everything in my little bucket here. And then I've got my um, monthly stash that I've been using. So I'll supplement from that for anything that I don't have in my new bucket. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. And give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it. Let me know what you're uh, grooving with so I know what kind of videos to make. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm right on top, I've got a couple of lashes. But the main thing I'm going to start with is see if I have a primer in here. I do not have a primer. I do have a primer. I'm a liar. So, the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. I've heard a lot about this primer, so I was very intrigued about it. It's a silicone-free primer that does it all, it says. Um, mattifies, hydrates, and blurs pores. So, let's see. That's a lot of claims for a little $6 primer. It comes, it looks very different. It almost looks silicone-y, but then lotion-like at the same time. It kind of reminds me of lard. <laughs> oh, but it feels so good going on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And boy, it does blur. I don't know. What kind of magic this is. It smells like coconut. It's not overwhelming. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you just heard that, but that was my dog that just burped. That feels so good on the skin. This may be my new favorite primer if it continues to be this good. So let's see what else I have in my little bucket here. I'm pretty sure, yes, I have a foundation. It's not new to the market, but it's new to me. I kept hearing people say that they thought they were getting rid of it. If you could find it, get it, jump on it, get it. I didn't have a problem finding it. I just went on the Walmart's website, put the foundation in. There was plenty of shades to choose from. So I don't know if it's going away or whatever, but I've heard that this was so good for many years. It's the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. I got mine in doo -doo 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 -doo, LC1. This is has a brightening complex in it for all skin types. Um, says it's packaged with vitamins and antioxidants for healthy coverage and ch infused with Chinese wuzu yu extract and hyaluronic acid. So it's ultra blendable, lightweight, buildable, and breathable. So that's what it says. It's got SPF 20 in it. So let's try this bad boy. I'm going to... Oh, I guess you screw that off. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be a pump. It's actually one of those doe foot applicators. And I'm going to use my BK101 to apply this. So. Oh, I got my shade. Spot on, it looks. I'm usually pretty good at choosing my shades every once in a while things will go awry for me 
Now watch, because I said that, the next foundation I pick up will just be hella dark or light. <clears throat> okay. Right off the bat, I would say that this is a light to medium coverage. <clears throat> I'll put a little bit more on it and see if it is buildable. Which I don't mind a light foundation. I don't like a real heavy, especially in the summertime, I prefer lighter coverage. But for the sake of the video, we'll see Yeah, it built built on itself very nicely. So I, I would say that it's a lot to a, a a good strong medium coverage. It looks good on top of that primer. So we will see how this wears as it goes on. I'm going to be filming several videos today, so I'll be wearing it for quite some time. Because this is the only full face video I'm going to do. I may have to remove my eye makeup a couple of times and reapply that, but as for the rest of my face, I'll be able to see how it does. Let me build this up like I did the other side so it matches. Yeah. I think that looks nice. Get my ears. So I think that looks quite nice. Okay. So I do have a new concealer. I picked up the um, one size concealer <coughs> when it first launched. And I've been waiting to play with it. This is actually the first one size product that I have purchased. You know, I have a sample of the primer and I like it okay. And then I also have a sample of the powder try today. But I got mine in Fair 3. So let's see. The doe fits smaller. It's got that little nook in it so it holds the concealer in. So we shall see. Where is my brush? There it is. No, it's not. There it is. So I'm using the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. And then I like to just go around the edges with my foundation brush, just so there's not a harsh line. That blends in very easily, very easily. It looks hydrated. It's not drying at all. I usually don't get a lot of creasing under my eyes or crepiness. 
The only thing that really does that is sometimes shape tape does it. But so far it's looking pretty nice. So now, I don't know if I have any cream products in here to try. Let's see. I do have a cheek do to try. I have a liquid highlighter. So let's do that. So I've heard good things and bad things about these cheek do's from ColourPop. I've got mine in the color Hotline. Some people say they love them. Some people say they don't. This is a really beautiful color. I've heard that they're not pigmented enough. So we will just see. I'm taking my AOA Studio F3 brush. And I'm just patting that on the back of my hand where I put that out. And I'm just going to start applying that to my cheeks. It is a very thin formula, um, and it is very light wash. I feel like if you ever wanted to try deep, dark colors and you were afraid of them, this is a very forgiving formula that would allow you to do that and um, not go on too heavily. So that's pretty, but I can tell you, I put a lot on there and my cheek actually feels wet. So I don't know if I like that or not. Um, these are probably okay for me for a base, like how I, I do cream products a lot. I put them down as a base for color and then I powder and then go in with a powder blush on top but I don't know that I would ever like this on its own um on top of my makeup because I don't foresee this ever setting down or drying it feels very wet and almost heavy um because I had to apply so much I'll take my foundation brush and see if I can dry that up some you can see how wet it made my my uh, blush brush. So now, the highlighter that I have, it's been out for a hot minute. Um, but I think I got this in a boxy charm. And it is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Glow Wand. Is that what it's called? Shape Tape Glow Wand. It looks like this. And so, you unscrew the top part. It's got a little doe foot. And then on the bottom, I think, is your, your little sponge to, uh, to blend it in. So, I'm just going to go right on top here. I don't know if that was smart or not. And I'm just taking that sponge and dabbing it out. Um... Hmm. You know, I don't know if that's glowy or not. I don't. I feel like this might be like a concealer highlight, not a shimmery highlight, if that makes sense. I don't see any shimmer in that. Well, maybe I do right there. Okay. Okay. I take back what I said. I don't like that sponge. I would rather just pat it in with my finger. I do believe. No, that's pretty. Okay, so now 
I'm going to go in. I got a one size uh, powder to try in translucent. I never tried it before and I thought about picking it up. But then when I seen I could get this to try it, I thought how perfect. Get that sticky thing off of there. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to go underneath my eyes first. And I don't really see any, any creasing at all, really. So I'm going in with my 104 BK Beauty brush. And just stamping that under the eye. Coming up on the lid. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I almost feel like it made my eyes look dry underneath right away. But we'll have to see how it works out. So now I'm going to take the uh, BK102 powder brush. I'm going to go into that same powder and just powder all over my face. That powder doesn't seem to have a scent to it. If it does, I'm not picking it up. No. It just smells a little makeup like, and that's about it. Hmm. On the rest of the face, that powder, I mean, I don't, hmm. I don't think it's my favorite. Just, I don't hate it, but um, it's not my favorite. So I don't think I will purchase a big one of that. I'll use what I have here of that, but I don't see myself purchasing it. So I'm going to go in with my um, coconut um, setting spray by e.l.f. Give myself a good spray down so that I can meld those powders into my face. And then I'm going to do my brows. Okay. The brow pencil that I have is from Maybelline, and it is a brow ultra slim in soft brown. Packaging looks like that. It's a teeny tiny pencil. Teeny tiny. You get a spoolie on the other, other side. That's how big the pencil is. So it's small. It doesn't feel very waxy. So that's good. So let's see how it applies. Oh yeah, it's very pencil-esque, if that makes sense. There's not a whole lot of wax in this product. Because I have tried some that were very waxy and emollient-like. And I don't, I don't really like those. I prefer a drier pencil. But I think there are some people that like that waxier feel, I think. I want to pick up that new pomade from Benefit. It looks interesting. Okay. So 
So now I'm going to just take my spoolie and brush through. You guys know I don't spend a terrible amount of time on my brows. I just pretty much fill them in and go. That seemed to be pretty nice. I'm not too picky on my brow products. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see. My bronzer that I have is new to me, but it's not new to the market. <sighs> Let me pick my blush out of here while I've got this down here. I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay. So the bronzer that I have is from Rimmel, and it's the natural bronzer. This is another one that I've heard about for a very long time. And for some reason, I just never picked it up. I know one of the reasons is because every time I would go to try to get it, all they had was the darkest shade available. So for the longest time, I mean, probably, I probably looked at it over six times that they only had the darkest shade. So then when I did see it in stock, I was either buying another bronzer or I wasn't interested in a bronzer. Just, you know, that's how it goes. I do see some shimmer in there if you're not familiar with the formula. <clears throat> that's what it looks like on my fingers. I got the color 020 Sunshine Hell Eclantant. I guess it's just called Sunshine. So I'm going to go in with my BK103 and pick that up and start to bronze. And sometimes I like a, a shimmery bronze and sometimes I don't. So it just depends on my mood. So I'm starting by pouncing that on my cheek. And I do that just in case there was a place that maybe missed some powder. I don't want this to get stuck and skip and all that. So I find if you start pouncing first to lay down your initial, I keep feeling like I've got a hair, to lay down your initial layer, then you can go in more in a buffing motion. It You'll have less skippage unless it's a problem with the bronzer itself. So now I'm going to go to the other cheek and do the same thing. Just start pouncing that in. I think it's a very pretty color. Um, going on the cheeks, it doesn't seem very shimmery at all. I think it's just the right amount actually. And then finish off that forehead to cover up that unicorn horn. Whatever that is on my nose is going to drive me to sanity. <laughs> Maybe that helped a little bit. No, it did not. I don't know what it is, but man. It's got me feeling like I'm going crazy. So I really like that. I like that a lot. So uh, the blush that I'm going with is from ColourPop. And it is Growth Flirt. It's one of the super, super, the super shock cheeks. Super shock cheeks. I've tried uh, ColourPop's blushes before, but I've never tried this formula. And I have always wanted to, so I picked up a couple of these in my last ColourPop order. That is such a pretty color. I think it complements that cheek do very well. So now I'm just going to take, um, I can't ever remember what this brush is. I got it on Amazon. It's a very good blush brush. So I'm just going to go in there, pick up the blush, and just start stamping it on my cheekies, my little chubby cheekies. Oh, I think that's nice. 
It's a very nice color. These feel like a cream to powder, just like all their other super chalk uh, items. It's a very beautiful color. Okay. Now, for my highlight, I have a super shock highlight in Lunch Money. Believe it or not, I've never tried this. I know it's a cult favorite. Some things I'm just slow to the game on. That's what she looks like. Of course, you can tell I've already put my grubby fingers in it. I can't help it. Don't judge me. Some things, when they come in, I can set them aside and I'm fine. Other things, I have to touch them. So I'm going in with my AOA F19. Please excuse my little poodle. She has to guard the house. She weighs five pounds and she has to guard the house. What is it, Malika? What is it, baby? So I'm picking that up on this brush. I'm just going to start buffing it on my cheekbone. She's pretty. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I've been sleeping on these, man. For sure. Mm. That is gorgeous. Okay. I do not have any lip products in here to try. Um, what's left is lashes, some more blush, some mascaras, some more bronzers. Did I say lashes? Because there's lashes in here as well. Another brow product. So, I'm not going to do my eyes in this video because, as I said, I'm filming all day today. And my next video is going to be an eye look video. So, just like the last time, this is it for the face. Um, I'm going to set one more time. I love how that setting spray just brings everything together. I hope you guys can see that. And see that glow that it leaves all over the face. I love that stuff. <clears throat> so, to recap on everything we've tried today. I really feel like, for the most part, everything was a hit. The only thing that I'm apprehensive about is the one size powder. And it just, it did not blur my face the way that the Huda does or... The Too Faced Peach Perfect, which I think they've discontinued. Thankfully, I have two on standby over here. Because when I started seeing them coming on sale all the time, I was afraid they were going to get rid of them. And I started scooping them up because I love them. Um, you'll see what my favorite powders are as I do my declutter on my face powders. But, you know, I just have so many others that I feel does a better job. My under eyes look a little dry. And you can see my wrinkles more and i just have powders that do not show that so um i i, I just I, i'm not really happy with that uh the cheek do i'm on the fence about this really um i could do without it to be honest i do not see myself ever purchasing another one of these if you haven't purchased any you're not missing anything. I would not waste my money. Um, there are so many other cream bronzers out on the market that are better. The only way that I feel like this is a good buy, like I said, if you are kind of timid on darker colors, but you like them, um, this would be a forgiving formula to try those darker colors. Um, oddly enough, this highlight wand was, was decent. I feel like you could have uh, probably punched it up more by going back over it, over the powder if you wanted to, and not done a powder highlight. 
Um, so I'm still going to play with this more and see what I think about it. I'm curious about what this is going to look like if I used it as an inner corner highlight. So, um, <clears throat> so far, I think I like the concealer. Um, I feel like that the crepiness that I'm seeing is more the powder than the concealer because it did not look that way until I put the powder on. And I immediately, when I put the powder on, saw it. So, it's odd that these two being by the same company does not mesh well together. And they may on somebody else's skin, but on mine, they're not jiving. So, but I will continue to use the concealer because I think it's nice. Um, <clears throat> the Wet n Wild Primer. Oh, man. Just go get it. This is amazing. Um, the bronzer and the powder blush were both very good. I think I paid $4 for this bronzer. You can't beat that. The color is really nice. It built up very well. There's no patchiness or skipping in it. It's very smooth. I like the way my skin looks. The blush was very pretty as well. Um, it's buildable. You, you know, it doesn't go on heavy, so you've got room to build it. The highlighter, gorgeous. Glad I have that. The brow product, you've seen how quick I've done my brows. I think my brows look fine. The foundation, so far, I like it very well. My face feels good and set. It doesn't look very heavy or crepey, even though I went over it with that second coat. But um, I do like it. I think that I would like it more in the winter time than I do the summer. Because it, it is for a drier skin, I do believe. Um, so if you had dry skin, this would be a very good foundation for you, I feel like. Um, other than that, that's all I have for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little, um, full face of new products try on. And I'm going to hop off of here and get to my next video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up bell or thumbs up button and hit that notification bell. So, you know, every time I upload a video and guys, I will see you in my next one. God bless. Love you.